apocalypse. This is romantic environmentalism at its worst. It's a visceral fear of what is seen as unnatural, basically vampires. It's only unnatural if you don't know the biology. All microbes swap genes promiscuously, promiscuously all the time. The selection pressure on problematic genes in the wild is fierce. Genetic engineering greatly reduces the huge impact of agriculture on natural systems, and you'll notice that renowned biodiversity biologists like Peter Raven and Ed Wilson take no part in the campaigns against the genetically engineered food crops. So then you ask, well, who likes them? Well, the Amish, for one, like them. And in the world, they're extremely popular. Africa especially wants people to catch on. So in South Africa, we don't eat genetically engineered sweet corn in this country. We just eat feed corn, which becomes cornmeal and tortillas and buns and muffins and things like that. But in South Africa, one of the most popular of all foods there is white maize. It is genetically engineered, and uh, they love it. Because it works so well for the farmers, heading off uh, both pests and, and weeds, remember about 40% of the world's crops, mostly in the developing world, is lost every year to weeds and to pests. So for that reason, that because they work so well against those, this is the most rapidly successful agricultural innovation in history. They're good for the environment because, among other things, they enable no-till farming, and that protects the soil. They reduce pesticide use, especially in things like BT cotton, and they increase yield, and that frees up more land to remain wild. Now, this map from 2006 is out of date because it shows uh, no African countries doing stuff. That's because the European environmentalists with Friends of the Earth International and Greenpeace International went to enormous lengths to terrify the leadership of the African nations that this was poison. People starved as a result of that. Um, directly, and great harm was done. But now the agriculture, the African nations are finally getting up to speed, and uh, after a decade of delay, maybe two decades of delay caused by greens in Europe. There is no good reason for genetically engineered food crops to be controversial. I think my fellow environmentalists have been irrational on this subject and really have done harm. Now, if you've got a question about that, ask the Newfield Council on Bioethics, who took a serious, detailed, exhaustive study of the issue of genetically modified, engineered food crops, especially in regard to the developing world, and basically said it is a moral imperative to make GM food crops readily and commercially available to people in developing countries who want them. Bear in mind, besides the obvious matters of food supply and enhanced nutrition, these GE crops are, can be made drought tolerant, salt tolerant, flood tolerant, as Pamela Ronald over here has done with rice, and they are going to be crucial for adapting to climate change in the developing world. Not